All right, we're back. It's another day. And if you remember, we just sprayed on the Evapo Rust. Uh, that was actually about three days ago. It took me a while to get back up here. But uh, here we are. And as we guessed, there's really no change in the uh, actual rust that's on the bottom of the uh, 15 foot rhino here. Um, what we did was spray that on there so that it would hopefully help it not get any worse. I don't know if that was just a waste or not, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take some brass brushes in my drill. I'm gonna throw some eye protection on and we're going to uh, put these brushes into the drill and see if we can sand down a little bit of this rust and see how easy it comes off or how difficult it might be. These are uh, Norton wire brush set and uh, they're all brass and the reason i'm using brass like i said before is because it's supposedly less uh, abrasive when it comes to the paint and hopefully we'll focus on getting most of the rust off and leaving some of the paint but it does say it removes rust scale paint dirt from metal and other surfaces so i guess that it's probably going to take off paint as well but we're going to come back and do something after the fact but yeah like it says here put it in a drill and uh go to town gonna use this broader head here get a little more surface area see what we get out of this okay I think I'm gonna get a mask. I think that would help because I'm starting to breathe in that junk. All right, let's go. All right, so you know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that this doesn't do much at all. And I'm starting to think it's nasty. And that um, I should just paint over this. It's smoother, that's for sure. But there's obviously a lot of rust still on there. Let's go look at the other side. This is where the this is the side that the sun was always shining on therefore it didn't get quite as rusty but yet it's still bad it's valid heck it may just be as rusty as the other side i'm not sure let me uh grab the drill and let's see if we can make a dent in this side see if it makes any difference let's see what we can do here Taking off the paint good. Wow. That. Check it out.
talk about some elbow grease and some work. That's a lot of work. Hmm. What's the best way to go about this? Should I just should I just run with it? Just keep cutting with it like this? What should I do? I don't know. <laughs> could be a whole weekend of work here with this tool I'm seriously thinking about just painting it I may just keep hitting it a little bit see what I can get off but uh, I think paint will go a long way to prevent it from getting worse what's your thoughts leave me a comment below and let me know what you think but uh, bottom line is we're gonna be cutting very soon um, if you saw we'll try to link the video to the new toy that we purchased it's a zero turn bad boy I just got through cutting with that a little bit earlier and uh, you can tell in that video that we need to cut the field very soon so as you guys can see this is a lot of work and so I think the plan will be to just take my time keep working on it a little bit uh, then get as much knocked off as I can knock off get some paint and some paint that is made specifically to cover rust hopefully and uh, just give it a, a good good cover and then of course we have the underside the belly of this thing that we've not yet even cleaned off and getting under there and dealing with that it's going to be a challenge uh, i don't know how we're going to go about doing that but uh, it would be really smart to clean that up as well and to uh, get it painted i'm going to look under here real quick and see what i can see well it doesn't look any worse at least it looks just about the same so that's what we're dealing with so we're going to keep working on this and get some paint on it hopefully and very quickly we'll be hooking it up to the tractor and starting our second season for cutting with this rhino i'm going to get a tarp at the very least and get this thing covered immediately when it's not in use and i'm going to pressure wash it between uses and hopefully it'll never get worse than this and when i paint it maybe it will you know keep it from continuing to rust and and getting even even worse So I, I figured while we're at it, while we're doing a little bit of cleaning on this thing, might as well uh, try to sharpen the blade a little bit. I've never done that before, but let me get my grinder and see if we can make a dent in it. If you notice on this one, how bad I have dinged it up really good here. I mean, it's just warped and in and out, dinged up every which way. 
So let's see if we can make an improvement on here. This one is really about the same. It's no better. So let's give it a shot and see what we can come up with. sharper I didn't get out all the grooves and all the nicks and stuff but we definitely have a nice edge to it so let's get the other side that'll do I don't want to eat it down too much if you go too too tight in there and make it too sharp it's gonna get thin in that area and it's gonna get brittle and it's gonna break if it hits a rock so I believe we got it plenty and uh, I think it's gonna cut really great of course I've still got to get the the belly of it done but uh, we got both sides okay so it's another day here we go I wanted to talk to you about what I'm using now on the drill. It's a bigger, wider um, little uh, brass brush, metal brush here, and it seems to be doing a better job. Let me give you a, a little look and you can see what it's doing. Uh, but I've got a game plan and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. I purchased some products that we're gonna put on the, on the underside of this Rhino and we're gonna see if we can prevent this from getting worse and, and keep it from rusting going forward into the future. But check this out first.
Okay, so I'm going to be uh, using that wheel and I'm going to be getting more of that rust off. But let me go ahead and show you what I have purchased that I am hoping will maybe do the trick for us as time goes on and uh, we won't have this issue again. You know, the fact is if I don't clean it after every use and if I don't get it covered, then I'm gonna have this issue no matter what I do. But my plan is to clean it after every use. Now that underside belly that's against the ground, that's gonna be the tough one. But I think I've got a plan for that too. We'll talk about that later. And then I have bought a tarp to use to keep it covered, you know, going forward until we can get it inside of a building. But yeah, so here's, here's what we got on the uh, product that I was telling you about. We have a Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. And it says to use on heavily rusted metal for the ultimate finish. So we're gonna prime it first after we've cleaned. We're gonna sand it down like we were doing and then I'm gonna take a, a wet towel and we'll wipe it off and wring it out and wipe it off and let it dry thoroughly. Then we're gonna put this primer on right here and we're gonna hope that it's going to set well. Now this is oil based and so it's gonna take a while to dry which means I may, if I'm lucky, I'll get this on this evening and maybe tomorrow afternoon I can do the next step, which will be this Valspar anti-rust armor. It says maximum rust prevention and it's also an oil-based enamel. And check out what they did. They did a little color match for me. I took a piece of the paint with me. Let's see. Yeah, got it laying right here. I took a piece of this paint with me to the store. They did a color match at Lowe's. And this is the color they came up with. And it looks like it's gonna match to me close enough for sure. So between this rust primer that you can put on rusty metal and this, uh, I'm hoping I've got something good. I wanted to spray because I thought that would be a whole lot easier. Excuse me, but the, the guy at the, the paint counter really told me that oil base would be the way to go so I, I hope that i hope that we made a good choice here all right different day old throwaway t-shirt gonna paint it's time to put the primer on the rhino so what i've got is my gloves i've got a little container here i have my rusty metal primer screwdriver to pop it open stir stick and a big hairy brush so let's get rolling We have the Rhino Lizard. He's the same color as our Rhino paint. Close anyway. He just wanted to hang out. Okay, this is some thin oil-based primer. All right, well, it's going on good though. What I'm concerned about is maybe tipping over, tipping this over as I'm, as I'm holding it because I'll be paying attention to what I'm painting and not necessarily how I'm holding this bowl here. But that's priming good, isn't it? Let's do a little paint down here where we can see what's happening.
color too bad. No. But the it's actual <laughs> the actual color that's going on this is the color of the original orange, or at least close to it. They matched it up. Okay, welcome back. Another day, uh, another shirt that I don't mind destroying and getting paint all over it and throwing it away. I've had it for years, so uh, I wanna show you the primer now that it's dry. Uh, it's been several days since I've been up here and able to do anything uh, for the bush hog here. Uh, but yeah, this thing dried out pretty good. Uh, you saw how we just got the paint on it, the primer on it. And it took very well all inside there we've got a little bit of Sun peeking through some clouds so it'll go dark and it'll stay light a little bit but I think we've got a good coating of primer for sure on both sides you saw me do this side and then uh, I did the other side off camera let me show you how it turned out yeah looks good we could probably get away with just some primer that covers the rust there. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and paint it and give it a little bit extra protection. And again, I mentioned to you the kind of paint this is, but let me show you this again. So yeah, this is it. It's Valspar Anti-Rust Armor, Maximum Rust Prevention, interior and exterior, and it is oil-based. It has a uh, gloss clear base to it. And that's our color. It's the, the rhino orangish red, whatever. I, well, it's pretty orange. So uh, we're gonna see how it looks and get it on here. I wanna show you something. I'm sure most of you know this, but little secret. Uh, so it's been, I guess, a week since I painted with this brush and it had that oil-based primer on it. And uh, I put my rubber gloves, I took them off, put a couple extras, tied it nice and tight around the base of this just to keep the air out. And this thing is just as soft as it was the day I used it. So I'm gonna be able to use this brush again with this paint. So just any kind of plastic, but these rubber gloves really work good. And uh, they keep the air out and it keeps it wet. So you don't uh, have to buy another brush or bother cleaning it out if you don't plan to. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? All right, let's stir this. All right, 
here we go so let's see how it blends with this wet primer that I've got on this brush I'm sure it'll be fine oh wow isn't that nice this one I'm gonna try to be a little bit neater with but so far not so neat it's so thin the oil based paint is Good color though.
looks like a new one. Heck yeah. That looks nice. Let's do the other side. Well, as you can see, it's coming along and I've only got a little bit more to do. Um, today's been a fun day. I mean, I've taken my time. I pressure washed for the last two days uh, at the house. And uh, so my hands were cramping up after I painted a little while. So we took a break and I'll, I'll try to throw maybe if it's even clear enough uh, to show it. But we saw some wild turkey just down the hill from the front of the barn. And so my wife and I, we were just sitting out there on the front porch in the cha lawn chairs and watching the turkey. And uh, the male, he would just puff up that tail, you know, and throw it out there and spread it out. I don't know if he was trying to tell us to keep our distance or if he was just trying to get those females over there. There was three of them that was real close hanging out. One of them looked like it was nesting down there and trying to lay eggs or something. It was burrowing in the ground a little bit and fluttering its wings. If anybody on here knows, you know, what what it was doing, uh, please comment and let me know because I'm curious if I'm going to find some eggs down there. And that's an area I actually cut with the... Uh, either the bad boy or the the pull behind swisher or the dr to just keep it cleaned up but i think it was between two or three trees where there were some rocks and sticks and i didn't really trim it real good so they found a little bit of a high spot with weeds and things and anyway i just wanted to share that with you it's been an enjoyable day and i'm gonna finish up here and uh get this all finished done so that we can call her a day but i think this is turning out really good it's still wet on this side and you can see how it's coating it real well i think the key is cleaning it up like i was talking about you know after it's finished after we finish cutting with it getting all the dirt and the mud and the grass off of it so that it just doesn't sit there and rust but i don't think we did any harm to this uh the plan will be to you know keep an eye on this after i pressure wash it see if it knocks off any paint and as you know the center of this thing i've not gotten down underneath the middle of it yet and uh, even been able to pressure wash it it's of course so low to the ground so when it's on the tractor i can lift it up hydraulically and get a pressure washer wand up the, under there and get it done and i don't know i'd have to block it up put some jack stands or something under there to make sure that it doesn't come down on me before i go under there and do any any priming and painting but uh, uh i guess this will be it for this video that'll be all she wrote and uh i do appreciate you watching hope you enjoyed it and uh if nothing else maybe it will teach you to not make the mistake i made like i said originally and and make sure that you keep these clean and keep them covered if possible but uh we appreciate you joining us here at the lovely place and as you can tell uh, not only are we trying to make this place more lovely but we're trying to keep our equipment lovely and i think this is this is going to be part of that process to make it happen